Hi guys, welcome to our video on understanding SFP Plus modules and choosing the right fiber optic transceiver for your 10G switch. Today in this video, we'll explore the key aspects of SFP Plus modules, their compatibility with 10G switches, and how to make informed decision when selecting the appropriate transceiver for your specific network infrastructure. And if you have any question for your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below, and our team of experts will get back to you as soon as possible. So the Smart Form Fractal Pluggable, also known as the SFP module, is a compact and hot pluggable transceiver used in networking equipment to provide fiber optic connectivity. It serves as an interface between the network switch and the optical cable. The SFP module functions by converting the electrical signal into optical signal for transmission over fiber optic cable. So building upon SFP technology, SFP Plus module offers higher data rate, typically up to 10G. It can provide enhanced version of the SFP module and is commonly used in high-speed networking application. And it can offer backward compatibility with SFP slot, making it a convenient upgrade for existing network infrastructure. So now let's move on to the demonstration board and I'll show you the setup today using the SFP Plus module. So when it comes to choosing SFP Plus transceivers for your network, there are several important factors to consider. First, the connector type. SFP Plus transceivers come in different connector types, such as LC, SC, and MPO. You should consider the connectors that is matches your existing cables and the equipments that you plan to connect. Second, distance capabilities. You should consider the distance between your network devices and choose the right fiber type and determine whether you require a single mode or a multi-mode transceiver based on the distance and the bandwidth requirement of your network. Last but not least, the environmental conditions. Some SFP Plus transceiver designed for industrial or outdoor setting. So make sure you choose the one that is suitable for your situation. So what I'm holding here are our single mode BD SFP Plus fiber modules. Now this is a cost effective way to connect a single network device to a wide variety of fiber cable distances and types. Now the primary goal of the transceiver enable the bandwidth of 10G and the deployment distances can be extended to a maximum of 10 km using the LC single mode fiber optic cable. And the working temperature ranges from minus 40 degrees up to 75 degrees, so it can be used in a harsh environment. So without saying, let's use them to connect. So over this side, we have the 24 port fiber managed switch. What is special about this switch, it has four 10G uplink port. And actually, you can group all four ports together to form a 40G high-speed network. Now, let's plug in our SFP transceiver. This is where we connect to a fiber optic cable. Let's plug it in here. Today we are using a four string fiber optic cable and it's pre-mated so we don't need to worry about the connector and it's 100% tested in the factory. Now we are going to use string A, it has ladder on each string. This is the string A. Let's plug it in until you hear the click sound. Okay. Then use a short patch cord to connect our router to the switch to provide data. So over this side is done, we are going to move on. This is a 300 meters fiber optic cable and we are going to use it to connect to our 8 port unmanaged high power PoE switch. Now those 4 ports can provide PoE++ which is the BT standard. And this is our 10G blank port. So let's plug in our SFP transceiver. 
and choose string A. This is string A. Plug it in until you hear the click sound. Just like this. And then using an Ethernet cable to connect our switch to a wireless SS point. Okay, so the indicated light should turn on. We can see it's on and it needs a few seconds. So now the whole connection is complete and this is how we connect a 10G high speed network. In order to achieve a 10G high speed network, you need an SFP plus transceiver that can support 10G or even higher transmission. And for installation, you need a proper handling and insertion of the SFP plus modules, ensuring the fiber optic cable cleanness and proper connection. You can also secure your modules for optimal performance and stability. As I mentioned, by grouping those four 10G link SFP slots can reach up to 40G high-speed network. And if you're interested, this is a video on how to build a 40G fiber optic network. And thank you very much for watching us today.